This is the uh, quick hitch for the Yak Magnetic Sweeper and I'm going to talk about mounting it to your uh, plow. So what we've done here is this is a John Deere Gator. We've got a uh, factory snow plow kit from the dealership. It's got a hydraulic lifter on it. And what we've done is we've removed the plow because the way that the Yak is designed to be mounted to your vehicle is to mount to the A-frame from your plow kit that comes with your vehicle that way we don't have to figure out fitting this part to all of your vehicles we just made a part that will adapt to this bracket so this is the quick hitch here uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to take this half inch bolt here it's half inch by two inch bolt that came with your kit and there's one hole right in the very front of it here and that hole lines up with the main pivot point from your snow plow so we'll just put that bolt in there And then you'll see that there are various holes in this part. And you want to bolt this bracket up fairly securely. That's why we've, why we've provided you with some different lengths, 3 8 bolts. We've also got this bracket here that you can mount underneath if you need more thickness or if, you're, if you've got a narrower frame, like say for example if you've got a narrower snowplow frame and you want to get the bolts a little bit wider for more stability in this part. We've supplied this bracket which can go underneath to sandwich stuff together. So this one here, what we've actually done is, there's some factory holes that come in this bracket. And we've actually just gone ahead and we've scribed out those holes in our bracket. We've drilled two more holes in this bracket and we'll just put some bolts in. So <clears throat> once you get your bolts in a pretty strong position, you can go ahead and tighten them up. The, uh, the ideal thing is having the bolts the wider you can at the back rather than having these bolts that are at the back narrow and close to the front it'll be a more stable position like if you only had two bolts right here in this bolt that's not as strong as having two bolts back here so the idea is we want to get three bolts in here one is the main pivot bolt which you're going to tighten up firmly and then you want to get two bolts that are back and as wide as you can with the bracket that you've got um, we've tried a couple different brackets and typically We've been able to not drill holes in this part of ours, but this was the easiest way to do it because we didn't want to modify the bracket that came from John Deere. I'll show it to you again. So this just has some factory holes here for the snow plow pivot. And we've just gone ahead and used all those. And then once you've uh, got a location to put your bolts in, you can just go ahead and use the hardware that's come with things. There's a half inch nylock nut and a washer for this main front bolt. And then there's washers and nylock nuts for the rest of the assortment of 3 8 bolts to attach the back of the bracket. And you want to tighten all these bolts firmly. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this bracket is straight to the front of your UTV so your magnet won't be crooked on there. Um, we've already done some of that when we marked these holes that we made sure that this bracket was straight with the front of the ATV or the, the UTV.